pushing in and actually i i was alluding to maybe sentinels not buying that it was going to be an a hit but there are three players still over there at the a bomb side they are completely giving c dug that's uh c split coming in now for exit yeah you're starting to see some of those nades clear out that back corner as exit gets onto the site it is going to be a 5v5 retake and important to note for sentinels they're going to be pushing in from garage from the defending spawn and they could potentially have somebody go all the way up now there is a tripwire there to ensure that nobody's on the flank the spike has gone down this one is going to be nasty you see members of exit already funnel all the all the way down C long which means we're we're in for a spam war through utility through smoke sinatra's getting the stick or oh, touches no. taps it early on pure with the opening pick as numbers advantage goes in favor of exit in a situation like this sentinels has to go right at them but exit's able to keep them back pure gets three angles you lean into the firepower of the smg sinatra knows that tries to fire through there doesn't tag anyone up but exit tries to go towards b anyway they've already dropped one we is able to trade it back the spike is it down? I mean, it's down in that it's not in anyone's hands, but it hasn't been playing it on the site. That's a problem for Xset. Yeah, there is an alert coming through. I believe it's from Thwifo, and this may be the X Factor in the round, but as you said, the spike being left alone to its, its own demise over there, and, and I think X explained this correctly. Aaron actually is going to clear out that low HP dapper. The flank comes oh, in. No! Sobs is wise to it. Does a 181 tap into the head of Thwifo, and now we got a three on three. This is a brawl to say the least, but any moment now, Sinatra's Odin might just shut things down. I think that's uh, wise to fall back and wait for another teammate coming through garage window to possibly break things up. But Sentinel's still rock steady on B here, Doug. 30 seconds. Yeah, left. I think they're waiting for Weeded to get another smoke before they potentially pull it up. There it is. It just came off cooldown. That gives them a little bit of room to work with. Defeated. As they go in, Sinatra again is anchoring things down. Shazam gets one as well. And Xset is just down to Weeded. He's going to grab the spike. He's going to run for the fences. This isn't, this, it's not impossible. He's got a vandal as well. This is certainly winnable. You know, the shadow step just delays them enough to make sure that there's nobody on top of the bomb site. He's now planted the spike at C in this 1v2. Certainly doable. Mm. Shazam holding the angle. Very good discipline from Sentinels there to close that round out. And hey, if you're on the side of X set, Doug, obviously winning the round would have been to the brim with. Dollar reduce coming out their pocket sick with a nice early frag on to BCJ. We did's gonna fall to the hands of Dapper as well, and those kills are huge. Just in the outset of the round, long C control is being denied by Sentinels in a big way. And if you're exit, that actually we're talking about long-term implications. Not just, you know, economically is that important. And these kills certainly are. Ooh, okay. Pure is gonna trade one out, but uh, you know, Doug, claiming this long C orb throughout this match is. Suddenly going to be a little bit more worrisome, I think, for Xset, but save that for later. And... Yeah, I just, I just think their their ability to control that there, like you said, certainly, and even if just for this round, right, Xset loses those two players, at that point, like, well, crap, what do we, you know, it's a 5v3 at that point, we don't really have a ton of options, they were able to equalize things, or not entirely equalize them, but at least get one going their way, they're going to have to rotate out, but Shazam and Sick take so much space away that nowhere's safe. For X set, Sentinel's tied up at two apiece. So there's a couple of points away from his, from his own under series. So he, depending on how the round goes out, we may see that as a factor. But X set begin to flood onto the site. Wifo is able to get the opener. Sinatra from up in heaven trades it out as he gets one. Again, one point away from the hunter series here. Indeed, and as the spike plant goes down, we have a four on four. And the sick will run it back through defender. Spawn comes in, finds one on the Wifo. And now this 2v3 post-plant scenario for Sentinels is absolutely collapsing as easy for Xset's collapsing as now it's just down to a two on two, Doug. Spike continuing to take away Weeded Weak as six starts on it. He said, oh, he wasn't even able to get it half. We did able to provide some of that cover. That's huge. That makes things so much more difficult for Dapper as he swings. Ready, keep an eye on Thwifo across the middle of the map. There's the first Hunter Fury being used from Sinatra. We're going to see BCJ if he chooses to use it in response. And no, he doesn't. He holds on to it for now. Pure able to get one on to sick as we did begins to get the plant. Shazam swings. He didn't have much to work with financially. He didn't have much to work with as far as firepower goes. And you see that go as you would expect. But Sinatra with the singer. Gets something going here. But again, the, the, the problem is Sentinels don't have a ton of guns. They're certainly weak. And they're going to dispatch them. He's uh, waiting for reinforcements before the retake comes in, Doug. And again, we're going to see what's what's become a very vanilla play on C Long. They get they get in, they get the spike down, and then they back off. It was also interesting for Sentinels. They played entirely off that site, right? Like there was no 
trap wire. There was nothing really there. It was entirely open. Playing for the retakes. We'll see if they can get anything going. Shazam punishing Aaron early on for that peak. Oftentimes, in this situation, you have to go in aggressively to take control back. is gonna drop, but not after taking Sinatra down. They're starting to stick the defuse. Zombs uh -oh. gets it to half. He's gonna keep going. He is taken out. We need able to get him. It's gonna get traded out in the hands of Shazam. Now they're starting to run, but Shazam's gonna stick and he drops. It drops, but Xset was they get picked apart, but they're not able to take care of things in time. Oh. That might be back? enough of a fake from that fake. Oh my goodness, sick no might way. find this out in time, but okay, he's gonna get the first one on the BCJ, but he's unknowingly gonna go right into the hands of Weeded, who has made a huge play for his team already. That A site is already going the way of Xset. Wow, in, a, in just moments, Doug, things have gone so wrong for Sentinels. Yeah, and uh, I whew, okay, so they were able to get the spike down, but things easily went sideways for Xset too. Again, this is a this is a, a light buy round for Sentinels. For them to have gotten this far is already a win, and clean shots like that from Sinatra equalizing things even more. He has an excellent idea of where Pure is. It's just on Sinatra now. He's gonna drop down 55 health. He oh! challenges and he gets the shots. He gets the 3k, and he's gonna get the round one for Sentinels. That's huge. I don't care who you are. You have to respect that play. The movement from Sinatra to get out of that windowsill. Ults of it were this, right? Like you said, there was only 10 seconds left and Sinatra ended up winning. Sick challenging at front B here. And this is actually going to be a fast B play. Pure oh. chasing after him. He's going to get the kill. Sick falls. And now it's a four on four. B, Ooh, B site was just for a moment. Potentially getting that spike planted, but we did fall. They will push into A link, looking for more space. They will be denied by Sentinels. And what I was gonna say, Doug. That was good. Oh, that paranoia was good. They don't follow it up, but it doesn't matter. A sick walks right into it. Pure is able to get one. You hear the blade storm has been used. There's the from the shadows as well. Dapper back on the site, trying to anchor things down, able to get two. It's gonna drop into a 1v1. Aaron all the way down C long. The problem is who else but Sinatra on the other side of the site? knows where the spike is. He has to challenge him. We kick off the next pistol. This time oh, Sentinel's on down. the attacking side. There was no oh. feigning of A. That's exactly where they want to go, but the Wifo's waiting there with the Sheriff. The Paranoia's gonna come out. It's gonna create some space as they try to funnel onto the site, but what else but the Frenzy keeping things at bay. Sentinel's able to get two more as Dapper looks to get a second and the third for Xset, X or Sentinel's, excuse me, Xset just down to one in a brutal spot here. It's BCJ up in heaven. He's got some utility. That's not gonna feel good, but now they're they're gonna know where he is. He does have a ghost. So he should be able to potentially lean into some of this distance and make something happen. But they're not pushing him. They're not challenging him. Oh man, that recon dark goes just a bit wide. BCJ oh. able to get one, but Sinat. Sick knows at any moment. Contact will be right in his face. There's one. Knock out a second, Pure follows it up, but Sinatra, who's having one heck of a map, Lex 3, potential fourth incoming, no, Dapper takes it, but 8-6 Sentinel. Yeah, I, I gotta imagine here for Sentinel, this is an excellent plant spot, obviously, for shock darts, but you gotta have an angle on it, and immediately Shazam gets found out by Pure, the frags are going the way of X at a moment. The fuse coming in, Dapper still alive, and he almost collects the dick, he gets the frags! But the defuse came out first. Find it back, gonna be used early on from Sick. The paranoia comes out, but a counter comes out as well as Sick gets tagged up. The Hunter Fury is gonna be used, but Sick tries to get in. He's gonna get one, but he's gonna get taken out from the ult in response. Meanwhile, BCJ still trying to wreak havoc on the site as Sinatra and Sick get one apiece. Exit just down to two as the spike now continues to make its way forward. Shazam gets onto Twifo. There's just one left. BCJ able to get it. Spike planted. Dapper gets the spike down. BCJ. In a 1v2, he's got a couple of shock darts. Don't know that he's going to have really enough time to wait up for the drone to come back into play. Or excuse me, the dart to come back into play here. So he's going to get a peek, spots him. So they have an idea of where he is. And they have a really good crossfire set up here, right? Like BCJ has to, it's a difficult... No freaking way. Okay, I was going to say, <laughs> just guns go. You see pistols really uh, across the board. BCJ... And Aaron, of course, I lied. They they do have a little something to them, but both teams starting to show up on the side at the exact same time. Sick gets one. We did trades it out. They're going to have to move here soon. Says Sentinels, Sentinels is getting out. The foot race is on as fast as possible. Getting over towards C, we see Zoms already taking the From the Shadows 
full liberty there on an anti-eco because you know what 10 seconds left you got to get that spike down 10 seconds left and as he's defending simply a foot race for exit to get in the paranoia will keep them at bay luckily spike, spike does get planted yeah but they're gonna have to hold it bcj gets one shazam trades it out exit i mean they're they're it's just difficult they do have a couple of volts to work with but shazam once again on the flank might be the spoiler of this party we did wise to it able to land the shots he gets a kill and he should get a weapon upgrade as well they are not out of the woodworks quite yet the paranoia is going to come out we did goes in aggressive that's three on the round looking for four dapper trades it out bcj on the flank he swings and dapper takes him out to run it back is going to go in as well trade clear out all of that cypher utility there's the first as they try to dash in we did behind the site he's going to get clean or excuse me he's going to go in first wifo gets in on it as well as sentinels have already dropped down to three the first hunter fury is going to be used and you hear the neural theft used in exchange dapper's already gotten two bcj gets one with the ult to drop things down to a 2v2 a heavy ultimate investment sentinels still on the site but they haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. They have time if they wanted to rotate out, but they might be walking right into BCJ's lap. The timing might not be there for him. BCJ gets oh. one. BCJ gets two. Three on the round. Exit. Take it away. Let's go. I, you know, Lex, they haven't been able to get enough room. Now Sick is going to get it down, but he's still getting blasted through. Shazam able to get one. The shock dart just narrowly misses as the spike goes down. Exit down to three members left here on the defensive side. Sentinels have taken excellent post place posi post plant positions. Excuse me. The alliteration was a bit too much, <laughs> but they've, they've set up down a long. They're creating space across mid. Take a look at where the Cypher is going as he's going to work his way potentially all the way through a link and cause more problems. BCJ. Oh, BCJ gets two sick trades it back out as Swifo gets in on it as well. It looks pretty, but it's falling apart very quickly as Exit just continues to stick it onto Sentinels. It's just Sinatra. It's left Sinatra with one already heroic moment. Sinatra looking for another. The tap there. He's going to have to challenge Sinatra. Oh, but Pure gets it. He's not going to have enough time for the defuse, though. And Sentinels by just enough time to take. Sick investing that run it back. I don't know that he's going to catch anyone except a bit of info. He did tag up We Did there, so he dealt some damage. But there wasn't really anyone following up, taking in that space away. They're going to get into Garage for free, however. Sinatra gets one. The Hunter Fury is going to be used from BCJ. But it seems like Sentinels are still comfortable going into this. And well, why not if it's going your way? But it's going to drop to 3v3. BCJ working his way in from the defending spawn. Sentinels, excuse me, Xset. Down to two members left. Pures down to 21 health. He's got an op, but he doesn't have much as far as HP to work with. He does have BCJ right next to him, but their positions have been given away. BCJ with one with the shock dart. That's big as things drop down to a 2v2. They have time, and they have a couple of members on the side of Sentinels that are weak, but Sick gets one, Sick gets the second one as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Sentinels take map one. GG maybe, Doug, but let's find out here soon. They got mid for free, right? Like, there's some utility from Killjoy around Beheaven to dissuade them from going that way, but they got, they, they got that much room for free, right? And they started to pull some resources. Exit did over towards A because of those early pages. But Sentinels are already all the way in. Shazam gets one. He's looking for a second. He's not able to get it as the Frenzies absolutely burst out into the open. Dwyfo is able to get one as well. Through the wall, Sentinels, they got some damage. They got what they wanted, and now they're booking it back out towards A. Exit's going to follow suit shortly after. A great wall there to delay the advances of Exit. And, you know, for Sentinels, putting the spike down here in any moment, we will be able to see the new plant location for B main. But uh, not a whole lot much to play off of, hopefully for Sinatra's sake. Holding close with the grenade here. There it is, first play coming in from Sick. That's a battle sage, Doug. It is, Sick gets one, it got traded out. The paranoia was there to set it up. But the kills, unfortunately, don't fully go one way as they're traded out in kind. That's going to drop things down to a 2v2. Zom goes in aggressive once again with the frenzy. What else? As he gets one, Thwaifo oh, gets punched man. as well. Zom's with two on the round. Sentinels win the pistol. Seven split comes to fruition. Having this breach means you can continuously fight. Oh, and not even doing so is pure. He knows the push is coming. Does sufficient damage. Gets one, but is immediately traded out. That Spectre, Stinger, whatever it may have been. Is the way of Sentinels. And Ooh. Thwaifo... With a snap headshot on a sick. I've seen a few clips from that man in recent days, and he's got some aim on him. Now it's a four on three. Sentinels does have a little bit of ground here. There's one player out of B main already. Aaron, though, with a backstab, picks up two. Just Dapper now in B heaven with a spike in hand. 1v4.
Not a lot of hope here, Doug. No, and, and yeah, it was very well played. We did runs for the fences. Dapper thinks he can chase him down. Playing contact in a 1v3 situation as time continues to tick away. We did able to get one, but Sick trades it out. The spike should be going down here soon. Oh, it what doesn't play? go down. I don't know that they're going to have time. Exit play this so well. BCJ gets three. The rest of it doesn't matter. They take the round away. What? I think they have a decent idea of where he is. You see Sentinels potentially looking to set something up. Whether once they're able to get some control, Shazam has really taken be heaven and now pure is it is a sitting duck here he's by himself yeah sinatra already takes him out zoms does a bit of damage as well as he gets one the sights open the remaining two members of xset are now gonna funnel over i was just thinking they have a couple of ultimates but you don't know if you want to invest them here but sentinels with the lighter buy seem to be causing fits for xset right now yeah i think this comes off the back of shazam not only getting the pick out of baron but isolating the uh the players on the site they had nowhere to look they're spinning in circles falling to stingers and what have you but ecj and we did oh, respond it's now it's a two on two take coming forward dapper does have a lurk here Shazam with the blade storm out it's gonna find the first onto bcj and now it's just we did in a 1v2 has to hit a headshot on this jet and deal with dapper in the meantime but commit on going back to b they have to go back to check a that's left. gonna give sentinels enough room to get onto the site the spike is gonna go down now they're gonna use that lockdown to try to make some room and it's in a brutal spot they can't really clear it out the spike did go down, however. Things looking good for Sentinels. Sam biding his time as close as he can keep it. And actually, Zoms with the from the shadows into Defender spawn. This is going to be a late round lurk for sure. Sinatra coming forward with the showstopper is going to find Weeded, yeah, but Aaron big. and Thoifo have responded with their own, Doug. Yeah, that's big. All oh, the Rolling Thunder is going to be used as well to push a member back. Dapper from up top, able to get one. They're starting to stick to the fuse, but they blast right through it. The smoke was not enough. Not bode well, but. Shazam here. 30 seconds left. Oh, he's going to go in. He's going to go in unchecked. Sick gets one. Pure trades it out. So they try to get onto the site. The spike isn't down quite yet. Sentinels have already dropped one, but they're dropping members of X set left and right. BCJ, however, trying to keep things spicy. Gets two. Not able to get a third. Sentinels win another round. So impressive. B, no longer really an option unless they make their way in through mid. They have to go that way. And who's waiting on the other side but Purer with the knob getting the best of Shazam early on? You will yeah, it was earlier on in the game. With, whoop, Rez comes out. Sinatra oh, spans accurately and Pure falls. That's oh, huge, Doug. And they're going to get the Neural Theft, right? That's going to expose everything. Once again, the Neural Theft is a hard counter to the denial of space from the Viper's Pit. Look at how aggressively Shazam goes in. Aaron passes in like two ships in the night. BCJ's there. He's probably pissed off because his teammates on the other side doesn't get the kill. Sick drops. Aaron finally connects onto Shazam as he has a decent idea of where another player from Sentinels is. The spike has gone down. Sinatra using a showstopper. Oh man, he's going fishing. Swiggity Swooty, they're coming for that booty. Sinatra gets another one. That's three as he takes care of Aaron. It's just we did in a 1v3 here. Sentinels, they, we, we, <laughs> they had everything going for them. X set take one away and Sentinels punch right back. Swiggity Swooty. I, dude, I, after those two kills from Aaron, I'm like, lockdown. Could we see it? Actually, a, a potential retake win here for X set. Full uh, of a peak. Literally walk through a cage play by Dapper fall short. That's a nice start for Exit, but I think as you mentioned, like this is a couple times we've seen Pure pick up the op, go for an early pick, but hasn't yielded much results. But DCJ almost collecting a Bucky frag there. Doesn't quite get it. I think Sentinels partially has been doing a really good job of denying those angles and those opportunities from Pure, but on the other side of that, you know, it seems as though it's almost predictable to them. Uh, or they baited the res the last time, immediately collect the refrag on it. Sentinels just looks clean. Yeah, and and knowing that this is the last round of the half, that that they have that lockdown in their back pocket, and they aren't, they're not fully playing off, right? Like in that contact situation, if that goes the other way, oh. they lose so many resources, and that's exactly what's happening. Fortunately, we didn't able to trade it out, Blyfo. Dwyfo, Dwyfo, baby, Dwyfo, he pulls him down from the... Heaven is not an option, and because of that, they're able to funnel over. They don't have to worry about that hit going that way anymore because they know where they're funneling X set towards, and as they funnel them that way, Sentinels are just able to pick them apart with frenzies galore as they get four into the next round. But Sentinel stalls and delays and sends them back the other way. 
That's the beauty of Sage. That's why we're seeing her so much more. And they funnel them right into Shazam. He's waiting there with the Spectre. He gets two. X set down to two members left. Make that one. As we did, and Thwaifo drop a flawless round. And again, play, play. wise up to it a bit. Because as you mentioned, it's a few rounds where that's happened. Love this positioning from Shazam. Oh, oh Pure goes in aggressive. Zom gives him the business and absolutely dismisses him. Sinatra's getting in on it as well as X set falls apart just down to two. Members left as Sentinel still has full firepower. It's just BCJ with two health to work with. It looks like they're going to try to hunt him down as well. Ten seconds left. For Sentinels, as X set was starting to build momentum, as they were starting to get back into this game, for Sentinels to be able to stop some of that bleeding to kind of swing things back in the direction, that's big. And it's here's an A set piece coming up from X set yes. right away. Look for Thwaifo to get that ult orb. If he gets it, he's going to have the Rolling Thunder. That's a costly death early on. As he drops, as Pure drops, excuse me, Sinatra going in aggressive. He's got the showstopper. Sinatra, Sinatra gets one. Flying through the skies as Aaron takes him out. They still want to commit onto this site, but they've already lost a good bit. The lockdown was used. Shazam is caught up, but they're, they're not aggressively following up on it enough. Zom swings. He takes care of We Did. He gets a second one onto Aaron. BCJ made his way onto the back of the site, but one is the loneliest number. Dapper takes care of him as well. Game, but Sentinels is quickly shutting that door. Rolling Thunder coming out. <gasps> oh, and the updraft falls short. Sick. Gets the better of Pure there. My God. Gosh, that's, again, that's why Sage is so damn good now, right? You invest the Rolling Thunder, you want to flash and dash your way in, and guess what? There's a wall. There's nowhere to go. They try to get over it. There's a fan waiting on the other side, too. She denies so much space. They played, Sentinels played that masterfully. Yeah, XS showed up. They came to play in this round, and we did is recovering from where they maybe fell short just a moment ago. The beast split is so deadly. Three kills going the way of Exit. Aaron even finding one. And now it's just Dapper over here at B main, Doug. Oh, okay, he gets one. Spike Drop things under two B2 Sentinels. Trying to get th keep things alive as the spike goes down. There's just one left on the side of Exit. It's Twyfo. Oh, he's gonna get tacked up. They know where he is. They're gonna try to hunt him down. The rifle gets one. Zom trades it back out. I would have lost my bloody mind <laughs> had he done that. But Sentinels are gonna be able to get the defuse. They're gonna take it here. They also have the Blade Storm. But Sentinels, they, they have so much to work with here. They can play pseudo aggressively and know that they have the res there. The Viper's Pit no longer an option. Sinatra swings, able to get one as we did sits on the sidelines for the rest of the round. Sen uh, Sentinels continue to push the matter as they purposely aggress towards Xset and push them back further and further. The Neural Theft was there. BCJ from up top, able to get one. Shazam trades it out. However, as they're, they're just, they, they've managed to get onto the site, but the spike isn't there. And now all of Sentinels has converged on this point. It's just left. pure over here at Mail as BCJ and Aaron are, are looking to work back and help collect the spike, but they're not even sure if the site is clear. And of course, looking at the minimap, it is, but the spike is nigh on unrecoverable. Only 17 seconds left. This yeah. might be it, Doug. Yeah, this very well may be the case. Sinatra's going to be there. Aaron trades him out. It's just down to BCJ. He's got 28 health. He's going to have to do something. Gets one. Dash away. Not able to get the second. It was the omen.